I really like to start my mornings off by doing my makeup and starting with a fresh face and exercising my artistic flair. Ignore my husband in the background. He is fortniting and loud. So, gonna do my makeup. done my makeup I'm gonna go make myself a juice I'm gonna go and make some brunch for the fam I'm gonna make some eggs bacon whatever I'm gonna make something Why am I crawling on the ground? What am I supposed to do? Collect one key, open the exit door. Yeah, that's, so you were at the exit door. Wait, can I hide? You know you had to keep the exit door at that last level? Did I? And you were at the door? Oh yeah, I was. You're so funny. But how did... Oh, I guess I didn't know how to open it. You didn't even go up to it. You just turned around. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I just saw on my email that my packages are at the office and there's some Amazon packages up here later. So I'm going to run out, pick up my packages. Last night I made my friend at the office, Shelly, some collodial silver. So I put it in this bag. She gave me a jar to make it in. That's what it looks like. I bought a collodial maker years ago. I just make my own collodial silver because it's like the best stuff in the world. I have timed how quick it takes a sore throat away. 30 seconds. Here's my machine. Yeah, wishgranted.com. It was under $200 for the machine and it came with a water tester to test the parts per million of particles, particles per million in your water to make sure if you're using reverse osmosis water that you have the required particles per million to make collodial silver. Otherwise, they recommend to always use distilled water, which I did use. Let's go back to town, get all my running around, get some McDonald's, and I ordered it via the app. So I ordered all my stuff before I left, and then all I had to do was say, I'm, I'm here when I pulled up to the curbside. And since I'm on my keto, I can't eat the bun. I've always loved McDonald's. This is my second McDouble without the bun. 
one thing I was going to pick up today was a PlayStation VR, but apparently the whole world is sold out of VRs because, I don't know, I have some weird suspicions. I'm knocking up Bill Gates again. That's so freaking creepy <clears throat> that he had to pull an ad that he did for Marina Abramovic. I almost pooped myself when I saw that. I was like, okay, what's going on in reality? Seriously. Have any of you looked into spirit cooking? <clears throat> That's not art. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I dropped off that collodial silver with my friend at the office and I got Hopefully, I'm pretty sure this is the last Sally's package, so my drill should be in here. My drill. I call it a drill. I'm pretty sure it's actually called a bottle. I know nothing about nails, so you're following along on this journey with me, and probably not on the YouTube research aspect of it, because I'm going to be doing a lot of YouTube research and watching other people doing their nails and I have had my nails done so I know kind of like what to do so let's get into it My barrier for Corona. <laughs> One nail polish in this giant bag. White. There's how much it was. Here's this receipt. The dehydrator cleansing wipe. Oh, this one looks really cool. Mixed media. Ooh, that looks pretty. And on to my Amazon order. I got pigment powder. open some Tokidoki boxes. These are mystery boxes that I bought from London Drugs because so far in Grand Prairie the only place that doesn't have a line out to the end of the parking lot, London Drugs. Every other store. Lines. Open this. Extras go in the boys toy box, but all the first ones that I get go in my collection. I'll show you. Let's cool look. Oh, my battery power is dying, so I'm just going to quickly say goodnight and show you my nails. I succeeded. They look like they need some moisture. My hands, that is. So let me cake a bunch of moisture on so I can waste my battery even more. Oh my gosh. 
This is worse. <laughs> okay. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna pick this up. Don't look too close. <laughs> They're pretty noobish. And I don't know. It was really hard for me to decide what. Oh, come on, focus. It was really hard for me to decide what I wanted to do. Yeah, if you look really close, you can tell it was done by someone that has no idea what the hell they're doing. But it sure looks and feels a lot better than what was on there before. So, oh. How's it looking? It's all stitched up. Look at the big butt. There, I stitched it all up. Look me. Actually, better than new. <laughs> I'm floor gang right now. I'm sitting on the floor. And Olana just came by this morning and told me that the river is about to flood into the campsite. So I'm gonna go and take a look and see how bad the flooding is. I'm gonna take a walk to the tip of our little peninsula here and see how bad the flooding is and I'm gonna take some footage and see because today we're gonna take the skirt off and get prepared to evacuate just in case we get flooded. <sighs> We've experienced an ice age, a pandemic, and now a flood. <laughs> 2020, can you just please stop, okay?
Lately, I've been doing trenching to get the puddles out of my sight. Look out my trenching. Got all the water out of my sight. Oh, wait a second. It's 8 o'clock and the water's finally subsiding a little, but as you can see, I still live on a river. But it's better than it was earlier.